Hey everyone, and welcome back to Small Land. I've just left Scotty over there, who gave us the reward last time for killing that big rhino beetle down on the beach. So, the beetle is dead, or was dead, and uh-oh, we got some company here already. And he's down. Anyway, when I accepted the reward for that, I think my inventory was full. Okay, hold up, no. My inventory was not full. I had to go back and check the footage from the last episode. What happened was Scotty actually just gave me the recipe for the gecko treat. Now we're still gonna have to get the cauldron to make the gecko treat, and we will. So this whole part here, where I went back down to the beach and killed the rhino beetle again to get the rhino horn to bring back to Scotty to hopefully get the gecko treat was all for nothing. And so we'll just skip over this whole part here where I tried to explain to you what was going on. So with all of that said and clarified and out of the way, Let's proceed with the regular episode. Come on, man, I don't wanna fight right now. I just wanna go find a home to live in. So what I'm gonna do now is just make my way back to more or less the middle of the map and we're gonna get a base built. All right, I think I found a decent enough place to live. We will live where we lost the ladybug. We lost the ladybug right in this little river here somewhere. We can't go into the river, of course, because we'll die, but I have been informed that it's possible to make some sort of a bridge using like um, roof pieces, I suppose, was the suggestion there. So yeah, let's set this place up as our home base. I should have enough resources to at least get us started with a couple of foundations. There we go. We got four walls and a roof. Let's have a look from out here. Hey, that looks um pretty quaint. I like it. Oh, except this roof piece here is very crooked. Although I think there's... Don't I get full resources back for dismantling? Or at least close to it, I think. I think I read that tooltip somewhere. Let's try that corner piece again there. <laughs> Look terrible. There we go, that's better. Oh my god, I can just put torches right on the rooftop. <laughs> oh, I like that idea. There we go. Yeah, I'll put some more up there once I get more materials. Okay, that's a pretty good start here. What we need to do now is just move all of our stuff over here that's um, right over here, I think, somewhere. Here's all of our old stuff. Somehow I'm suddenly like almost dead. Oh, I'm getting... Badly attacked by ants, too. Oh, my nourishment ran out. Ooh, I didn't even notice that. That makes sense. I was starving to death. All right, should be back to normal in no time. <laughs> Whoops. So from what I heard, you can just put, like, a foundation. Let's try, like, I don't know, right there, I guess. And then what, what do I do? Just put, like, a floor piece directly over this? Is that going to work? There we go. And then another. And then another. And then I think it would be more suitable to have another foundation here on the end. Hey, hey, not too bad. I am having a difficult time with the stairs though. These are, oh, these have to go adjacent to some kind of a wall piece. Oh, and, and uh, this is not good. I can't, I can't like build into the ground. It's not gonna let me put like a roof ramp next to this foundation either, oh boy. Well, if we wanna do more construction, I gotta get more material. I'm gonna go run and get some plant fiber. Okay, I've gathered up a ton of material here. We've got all kinds of plant fiber and wood. And um, so I've been thinking about it while I was doing that. And okay, so what the limitation that we have here is that it's difficult to build on a slope because, uh, as far as I know, there's no way to get, like, a staircase up to this area here. So, alternatively, I think, like, the entrance would have to be on the back here, but that would just look weird. You don't want your front door facing a route. So, maybe we take what we learned here and we'll probably harvest up some of these materials. And I'll leave the bridge because this is, like, a high traffic area here. And if we ever get another pack mule type of thing, we'll need a bridge. And we might even need to widen the bridge. But uh, there's got to be a, a similar but uh, probably more suitable build site around here somewhere. One of the places was this site over here, and we could build another bridge that goes over to that side. And this seems to be a lot flatter over here and potentially just better overall for what we're trying to do. Not to mention, there's actually a ton of resources that spawn on the beach here, like nails. And this whole area is just terrific for plant fiber. The only drawback to this location here is that, yep, yeah, see that ant right there? There's gonna be ants here. Ugh, I don't like the prospects of having an ant infestation at all times. And again, ants are food. Ah, see, like, building up on the up there on that cliff there would be so cool, but there's just all those leaves and stuff in the way. And let's just do a, an experiment here with a foundation. Is a foundation going to block leaves? Oh my god, it does. That was surprising. Okay, right, so if I'm over here, what blades of grass? All of them. Okay, I just completely destroyed that plant. This might be the site right here. Overlooking a nice, kind of like a flower garden over here. Also kind of overlooking this beach over here. We got the water running. 
Yeah, this is the spot. We do have a bit of an ant problem over there, but that's that's probably outside of their spawn range. So if we if we need to get some takeout, we just, you know, run over there, place an order, bring it back here, you know? I don't want to be in a position where I put the front door, like, right here, and then I, I'm not able to build back. So we just have to do some structure placement. Okay, I need to actually figure this out. So this is going to be two wood, one fiber. And if I destroy it, there is one fiber and one wood. So I lose a fiber if I'm like testing like this. Oh, I was just uh, playing around there and I did notice I am getting full resources back for dismantling. So I could just build to my heart's content then and not have to worry about losing anything. Okay, here we go. This is what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to build it in such a way that I can kind of overlook. Maybe we can make like a balcony out here. Yes, okay, here we go. And uh, this big fern plant here, are you gonna be in the way? It is. So this is the other edge over here. And then, yeah, is this? It's gonna be a little bit weird here. Unless, can I come over any more? Nope, no I can't. So this is gonna have to be like the front door over here. It's just gonna be a huge house and probably multiple stories as well in the end. Ah, ant attack. Looks like they deliver as well. Nice. Oh man, what does it look like from the outside is the question. Okay, it pro it needs more windows probably to look a little bit better. But I do like we have a, a nice level front entrance here. We'll need to make another door for that. I'm going to go dismantle the old place and move everything over here. But here is our balcony. However, as far as I can tell, I don't have any options to make like a simple half wall or a railing or a fence or anything. So... For now, until they introduce extra building options, just be careful, don't fall off the edge, because you'll just immediately die. All right, let me get all the furniture moved over here and we'll see what it looks like. Wow, the new house really puts this one to shame. Oh geez, we got an ant attack and they're destroying stuff. Hey, guys. Did I pick a bad place to live or what? I think we'll just have to make a habit of coming over here and clearing out these ants every time we leave or come back. So they were doing damage. Okay, yes, repair, repair. Oh, you can see there's like a health bar next to the little icon there. That should be enough storage for a while. All right, I'm just gonna harvest up some materials on my way home and then we will start sitting down some workbenches. Uh, most importantly, the stone cutters bench. All right, I'm thinking this back here for our bedroom, right over here, or probably eh, over here, because the ants attack over there, I guess. So just a simple bed for now, and I think there's there are some furniture op options over here, some decoration options. This is using a bottle cap though, and that is also used to make the stone cutter table. So we're gonna have to save that. Also, we need screws. I have a whole bunch of those, and so I want this to be like the workshop down here. So we'll go stone cutter table. Right about there. Oh, and that opened up a whole bunch of new options here that I didn't even know about. Wow, okay, so good thing we have a big workshop. Here, let's just get the regular workbench as well. Oh, and I, I put the stone cutter table on backwards. Are you kidding me? Tell me you're gonna give me the resources back for this. <laughs> I think so. Okay, yes, rotate it properly this time. And yeah, just make sure we have plenty of real estate here. Just wedge it right in the corner. In fact, put this 
this one on this tile. And then I think the workbench will slide in the corner. Oh, the workbench is huge. Okay, workbench is going to need its own whole tile over here. Okay, there we go. It's getting tight in here already. Okay, so now we need a whole bunch of refined wood. I think to get the refined, let's get a, just a campfire here in the middle. And in fact, I can, I can replace that with a chimney. Break that. Put the fireplace right there. And then get the leaf roof with the chimney which i guess you can't see from the underside but you can see it from the outside right okay what do we got here oh yes the flint hatchet flint spear all kinds of stone hammer stone brick oh wow whoa holy crap can we make stone structures yes for robust building wow okay there's a lot more going on here than i originally thought i think a flint sword well we gotta refine the wood how do we get refined wood we just need wood and seed oil I don't know how to make seed oil though. Is that like a fireplace recipe? No, I do have a ton of seeds. Is there like, uh, isn't there a cauldron? Can I build that yet? No, I need the refined wood to make that. Everything takes refined wood th at this point. So we need to figure out how to make the oil. Okay, so there was a little bit of a time jump here. My recording software has been a little finicky lately, especially around this game for some reason, having a hard time recording on this. Anyway, it should be good now, but let me catch up what happened. I, w w where we left off, I think, in the recording was I had built the Stonecutter's workbench. Well, I used that to make myself this um, flint sword, as well as a flint hatchet. And I also went out and I got some flower petals to make the gecko treat. And so that's basically all that's happened. We've got some cool new tools. I'm all kitted up. Where we're going right now is down to the, where the gecko is down here. We're gonna tame up a gecko. We're gonna harvest up some more flint because this is the only place I've found flint. And now that we have the flint hatchet here, I think we've uh, unlocked the ability to chop down some new resources. And so we'll have to gather up on some of that stuff too. <laughs> Oh, nice. I can just one-shot the ants with this new sword. Haha, <laughs> yes. Uh, life might have just become significantly easier with the new flint tools. Oh, now we've got bees. Oh, boy. Here. Yes, oh. Working relatively well against them, too. Yes. I'd say it works reasonably well. Easier than the bow. I think the, they're weak to pierce. So, oh yeah, we gotta get the spear then, the flint spear. Okay, here's some rye. Oh my goodness, I can two-shot a rye... A uh, rye stalk or a, a rye plant. Okay, this is gonna make life so much easier. The Stone Age is so nice. I think if it is, if we could just get a good mount, like the gecko, maybe we'll see what the gecko's speed is. I imagine the gecko's speed is pretty good. Yeah, this is just so much faster. All right, come here, buddy. I'm not afraid of these guys anymore. Take that. Yep, two shots. Wow. Like in retrospect, the early game is hard, but. I'm now feeling like I, I've scaled enough where, or at least I've maybe developed some skill enough to where uh, life is not so bad. Just make sure I'm eating. That's been a problem. Okay, here we go. Two at once. Only took one hit there. Not bad. Plant fiber is really not an issue anymore, so we can just take bandages pretty liberally, I would say. Yes, this Malve thing. I can chop this down now. Not sure what it's going to give me, though. <gasps> wood. A ton of wood. Wow, I'm going to have so many resources, I won't know what to do with them. I suppose we got to take this guy on and see how well we do here. Still, this guy's resistant, I think, so we need to get a good blunt weapon, like the poison mace. There we go. Not too bad. Oh, this is hedge garlic. Yes, I saw that garlic was, a, was an important recipe for something, so we need that. I can make a pixie omelet now. Nah, there was something else. It was something really important there. Garlic pudding at the cauldron. I did craft a cauldron. I'm not sure if that was caught on the recording or not. Probably was, because I, I used the cauldron to make the, um, uh, the, the gecko treat. The gecko treat was requiring like flower petal, which we've got a whole ton of those now. That came from the poppy plant. I think the, the Malve plant also drops petals and it just took some ant heads and stuff. I only made the one, because I'm not sure if, uh, I don't think I need any more than one. I only needed one when I was trying to uh, tame the ladybug. Anyway, it's dark out, so I'll meet you down at the beach. All right, quick little pit stop here at the beachside shelter. Well, not really shelter, but beachside base, I guess. Yeah, someday we'll probably just have to build a, a proper base down here, but I don't know, with all these big, big beetles around here and the bees, it's definitely not a good spot for this because there's always four bees outside. Bees are good for the honey crumble though, so yeah, I guess we could stock up on that. All right, make sure that we're topped off on nourishment. 
and the sword is in rough shape and I need flint and refined wood in order to repair it so this is just gonna break here eventually interestingly like if you if you catch it early enough like if it's less than 50% damaged perhaps uh, then it's free to repair but then there's a certain threshold where it becomes like incredibly expensive to repair so this is the other thing foxtail that I can now harvest is this gonna be oh yes plant fiber I was gonna say before because there's no plant fiber down here so if you have stuff to repair you want to make bandages you got to go like way way up into the forest there so that makes life a lot easier down here all right gecko here I come there's gonna be a water bug down here there is every single time and so there he is I'm gonna grab him and bring him with me and then uh, he'll probably help me weaken the gecko up a little bit all right come on bud there's my gecko and he's fighting another water bug so he should be nice and softened up by the time i get there <laughs> he just murdered that water bug what condition are you in now though not sure that i can see there okay he's 50 percent now i think just weaken him up a little bit more maybe and tame Oh, 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 I was gonna say, did it work? It did work, I can mount him now. Oh, awesome, it only took the one gecko treat. Perfect, oh, I've got a gecko. Can I attack from the gecko? Okay, it gives me his health bar and his stamina. So he's got a sprint and he, as far as I can tell, he doesn't have an attack that I can control anyway. Looks like he'll follow me though. So he's definitely a good combatant to have around the water bugs and stuff. Just as long as I can, can I feed him something maybe? Uh, what do you like? He liked, um, he liked gecko treats, but do you like, I don't know, like bee heads or something? I can only say mount, release, or stay. He doesn't have an inventory like the ladybug did. But anyway, while we're down here, let's stock up on resources. We need flint. We need plant, well, just everything. Just get everything while we're down here. Okay, so while we're down here, there's one more resource. Kind of a critical one, too. Okay, um, I don't know if I want to really fight big green bugs. There's a... There's bark. Where is the bark? I've seen the bark down here before. Okay, first combat test here. I'm gonna see what happens against a water beetle here. Oh, nothing. I'm gonna have to get off and then we're gonna have to fight them together, I think. There we go. Okay, that worked. I don't think there's anything on a water bug that I need for resources right now. Kind of saving room for, for bark. <laughs> Where's the bark? Well, I guess scratch the whole bark thing. It's getting late anyway, probably. Oh, a storm is approaching and we don't have any shelter. Ah, that is, um, that is, that's bad. I need to build a shelter, I think, like ASAP. Okay, I should have the materials for it and we can probably just do that right here. Foundation, doorway, wall, 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 door, open the door and rooftop. Okay, hide. Okay, I think the storm has broken. I was just kind of going through the crafting menu there. Gecko is fine. Right, so the apothecary table is what needed the bark. Perhaps we just make our way back. Maybe I was just misremembering the, the whole bark thing. Maybe it's uh, over here more? Could you not, please? Damn it, wasp is almost down. Also, Gecko probably taking a lot of damage here. How are you doing? Oh, wow, he got really hurt there. Yeah, eat up. Eat up whatever you found there. Oh, now my gecko just picking fights with everybody. My companion's been released. He's dead already. Crap, man. That's... Oh, these things are... Is there a way to... Man, it, there's got to be a way to protect your mounts a little bit better. It's really not worth all the effort. I guess I'm on my own then, looking for stupid bark. Oh, look, I found the bark. It's all down here. Oh, hey, hey oh, and a gecko, but I, do, I didn't bring any extra gecko treats. Okay, well, in that case, we're going to have to take them on to get the herptile leather. I have learned that herptiles are a real thing. I just never heard of them before. Funny, because I have a degree in biology, but anyway, maybe I wasn't paying attention that day. So yes, a herptile is like a, it's like a, another name for a reptile or amphibian. There we go, just take him out. Ah, just tank him, it's fine. Yeah, I need your bones and herptile leather so that I can uh, eventually make the chitin armor, I think it was. And also while I'm here and while I have a little bit of hit HP left on the pickaxe, I'll take as much flint as I can get. Yeah, it's badly damaged, it's not going to last much longer here. Oh, it still does, like, <laughs> incremental damage. So you can just get that, like, last node that you were working on. All right, that's the last piece then, right there. Oh, no! 
No, I can't even do the bark because I need a flint pickaxe. Oh, okay. I thought it was the hatchet. Hmm, my bad then. Well, in that case, I suppose we're walking home then. Oh, Sor Sorrel? Is this Sorrel or Sorrel? That is good for something. I don't really know what that was. And uh, big boy's after me now. Leave me alone. I want to know what this is. Leaves. Just regular old leaves. All right. Finally made it back to the base. Got the inventory a little bit organized. We should be able to repair everything at this point. And yep, with the flint sword. Good. Seed oil's made in the stone cutter, so I'm making a whole bunch of extra seed oil so that we can make more refined wood. I should be able to now make the flint pickaxe. That's definitely a critical thing to have because we need that to get the bark. I'll also take the flint spear, which is good piercing damage. Would love to have the blowgun, that's requiring the bark. Also gonna make up some extra gecko treats. <laughs> Apparently we should just bring a couple of these with us. Oh, we need more seed oil. Oh yeah, and these are definitely the way to go in terms of food. Look at this, the sorrel broth, using the leaves, bug lymph, and insect fat, that gives you 50 nourishment and blocks nourishment loss for 360 seconds, and gives you cold protection. And you can feed it to a creature. I don't know how to feed it to a creature though. Maybe you just drop it on the ground and they eat it? Also got some grasshopper treats here. I'm more, I'm partial to the geckos though, and we gotta go all the way back to the beach anyway to get the bark. So we should be able to get another gecko today and just be a lot more careful about it. And before we go, let's make some blackberry jam. That'll be a really good food source for us. And then we can just feed the gecko like the ant skewer and the beetle sausage that we have. Here we go, blackberry jam, do it up. Let's get uh, 10 of these. I wish there were some better icons because just everything is just blob. <laughs> blob of black stuff, blob of yellow stuff, blob of orange stuff. All right, we're all kitted up and ready to head out again. I'll meet you back at the beach. One last trip down there. Oh, did it change seasons? Cause it's looking awfully orange around here. It's actually really not a far trip once you kind of learn the proper pathway. There are like sort of trails it seems that lead to the various important locations. All right, so if history repeats itself, yes, there's a gecko right over there and he's already fighting a water beetle, which means he'll be nice and weakened by the time we get here to tame him. He did 28 damage, he received 22. Wow, he needs to get some armor or something. There we go. Take care of him and oh yes. Forgot I have to fight this guy. <laughs> tame, 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 tame. He's tamed. He got one last hit on me for revenge. Okay, so I need to now figure out how do I feed you? Okay, you can feed this to a creature. Oh, I just ate one myself. That's uh, that's fine. Whoops. Okay, I just dropped beetle sausage on the ground and he ate it all. All five of them. <laughs> That was a lot of beetle sausage. Nope, there's a couple left over. Maybe he just eats what he needs to heal, and that's it, because he's fully healed now. Oh, that's a revelation. <laughs> all right, buddy, you cover me. I'm gonna harvest up all of this stuff down here. Got the new flint pickaxe. Shouldn't take but a couple minutes. Oh, look at that, wood foundation, wood floor. Oh, I can build wooden structures now. Okay, before I go significantly further, wow, it's giving me a ton of new recipes after I did that. Let's try to get a workbench down here. Need a little bit more wood. Kind of ironic. Here we go. A little bit of wood here. Yeah, if I can just get a workbench down here, I can repair my tools without having to go all the way back home, you know? So there we go. Just slap a workbench down anywhere. I think things degrade at, over time if you don't like have them underneath a roof, but I don't know. It wasn't an issue over at the the other little campsite that we have, and I don't think it'll be an issue here, at least for a while. All right, I just took a couple of seconds there to head over to my my supporter list because every once in a while we get a name from by random to name something, and the name for the gecko is gonna be T Peel. All right, it's pretty much nightfall. We got a storm rolling in. I'm gonna grab this last piece of bark here and this bottle cap. Pull out the torch. That's a spear. Pull out the torch. We're gonna get on T-Peel and hopefully make it back to the base without getting killed, or more importantly, probably without getting T-Peel killed. I think the strategy is just, just run. <laughs> just run straight through all the bugs that are gonna try and kill us on the way back. All right, this is something of a moment of truth here, going across this narrow little bridge that I've made on a really wobbly gecko. <laughs> hey, it worked. And the only thing of any real danger over here are those carpenter ants, which I'm pretty sure that a gecko can take out a like three carpenter ants, no problem. I mean, I can. So, all right, here we are, home sweet home. You, can you just stay here, just hang out, and um, 
But yeah, <laughs> guard the front door. Which, never mind, we don't have a front door yet. Oh my goodness, but we could make a wooden door. Hell yeah. There we go. Nice. Man, that would take a lot of bark to redo this whole thing, but maybe we could just do like the bottom layer out of bark and then the rest of it could just be regular leaf. That would give it a cool like two-tone color look too. But most importantly, before we call it a night here, we gotta see if we can make the apothecary table and a couple of other things. Oh, it gave us fancy foundations with the bark. Wood and bark, apparently. Oh, this apothecary table is really, really big. Let's just put it in here. I'll kind of kitty corner it right about there. Wow, really big. What do we get here? Health elixir. That's makeable. Lesser health elixir. We got some poison, resistance, stamina tonics. Good, good. I'll probably make some of those before we go on any sort of a big mission. Speaking of big mission, hold on a second. Wasn't there? Oh, the blowgun. I did want to make that. Fiber and bone. Okay, here we go. Low gun, and uh, how do I make darts for it now? Or do I need darts for it? I need to equip an arrow to use the bow. Okay, so this, wait a minute. I do have wood arrows here. Does it maybe take the flint arrows? Okay, take the wood arrows out. I made 50 flint arrows. Nope, nope, not working. Hmm, I'm uh, at a loss for how to work this thing. Oh, a tannery. Oh yes, let's make that. That's also really big. My goodness, good thing I have this big massive house. Yeah, we'll put the tannery right next to my bed because that's gonna smell real nice. There we go. Can I make my own armor now? No, but I can make herptile leather and that's gonna use the herptile hide. Actually, I don't remember the armor recipes. I'll have to double check on that if that's gonna require the leather or the hide or maybe both. Oh, t peels in a fight out here. See if we can assist or if he's gonna be okay. Are you, oh my goodness, he's halfway dead. Why are you hitting me? Have you gone feral all of a sudden? Nope, nope, he's he's good. Oh, maybe he, he was going for this uh, ant over here. Get out of here. Ow, stop hitting me. I don't quite know what his issue is right now. Are you gonna be okay? You good? Oh, maybe he was eating. He was, oh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Let's just drop some beetle sausage there for him so he can heal up. You wanna have a snack there, bud? Maybe he's gotta be set to follow in order to do that. Yes, okay, there we go. So he was, um, he doesn't really kinda like to be in stay. He doesn't do very much. All right, anyway, stay there, shut the door, have a snack. And so what I'm gonna do now is just uh, do a little bit of research on what we need to gather up for materials and then tomorrow, we're going to head probably to Lissandra to talk to her about what went wrong with the rhino beetle. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.